Hey, I um, wanted to ask about Josh Allen and his running ability. How does that complicate your job on Sunday night and, and your defensive teammates as well when you're facing a guy like him who, who has can't not only run the, uh, throw the ball, but run it like he is capable of doing it? Brad, I'll have a second question as well. Yeah, I mean, listen, I think he's a great athlete. Um, you know, obviously a guy that can make all the throws. And, you know, anytime he's using his legs, it seems like, uh, you know, it's to his advantage. So, you know, obviously it adds, you know, extra pressure, you know, on the guys that's covering. Um, but it also adds pressure, you know, on, on the guys that's rushing them just to stay in their lanes, um, not let him kind of break containment and get into open field. But I think anytime he, you know, decides to tuck and run the ball, um, you know, we just have to treat him like a running back, uh, treat him like, you know, one of these wide receivers where, you know, all 11 guys, you know, have to pursue and get to the ball. And, you know, uh, I think it's going to be one of those games where, you know, we're going to have to tackle him and we're going to have to tackle him well. Is there anything more deflating as a defensive player to have a, a play where you feel like everybody on the defense is doing its job? Maybe the pass rushers are, are, are getting after him and you guys are covering well on the back end and, and still the guy gets out and runs for big yards and maybe a first down. Is there any more deflating than that as a defensive well, yeah, player? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously, I, you know, anytime that happens, uh, you know, it's pretty deflating, you know, on the defense. But, um, you know, he gets paid. You know, he's going to make his plays. Um, I think this is one of those games that, you know, even when those guys make their plays, you know, we just have to go to the next play. Uh, we can't necessarily dwell on the things that they're doing well. Um, you know, it's all about, you know, what we do and how we respond and react. Let's go next to Harold Coons. Go ahead, Harold. Hey, Tyron, hope you're doing well. Two questions for you, one on, one off. One, the one on is kind of following up with the whole Josh Allen thing, you know, he had some good plays in that week five game. How many lessons did you take from that week five game into now that you feel like the defense has improved upon? Obviously the addition of Melvin Ingram and some other guys that has helped you for this matchup. And I'll have a follow -up. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, listen, those guys made a lot of plays, you know, back in week five. Um, I, I think, you know, for the most part, it, it comes back to fundamentals, you know, obviously, you know, tackling. And then, um, you know, a few times on the back end, um, but we just lost our eyes, you know, on our man. And then he was able to find, you know, guys downfield. So it's a it's a great challenge uh, for us to be able to obviously, you know, stop him from throwing the ball downfield, but uh, rallying, you know, to him, you know, when he breaks containment, when he scrambles. And then the guys that are in coverage, just keep your eye on your man. Uh, just try your best to play fundamentally sound. Uh, I think that'll, that'll really help us out, uh, you know, coming into this week. And the other question I had for you, obviously, with the Walter Payton Man of the Year winning the challenge, Chiefs Kingdom came out and voted for you. What's that mean to you that for all the people, the fans here in Kansas City, embrace you to, to get that extra money for your foundation? Yeah, man. Uh, listen, man, I'm extremely blessed. Uh, really, uh, really thankful, you know, for all the people that really voted for me, especially the people in Kansas City, but, you know, people all around the world that 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 chipped in and really helped out. Um, you know, it means a lot to me. Obviously, you know, you don't really do anything off the field you know, to, to be recognized or to get awards. Uh, so anytime, you know, people, you know, see that and, and support that, uh, I think it's always encouraging, you know, going forward. Thanks to Herbie Tiope. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Tyron, how are you? Doing well, yes, sir. Hey, um, to follow up on Harold's earlier question, um, yes, you didn't have Melvin Ingram against the Bills in week five, but you also didn't have Chris Jones and Shaverius Ward. Uh, how will their uh, presence on the field this time around help the preparations, knowing what they bring. And, and Brad, I'll have a second question. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, I think when you you add, you talk about three, you know, great players, uh, uh, three great teammates, uh, you know, guys that, you know, in our defense, in our scheme, you know, that we really rely on. So uh, I, I think having those guys back this time around, obviously those guys are excited. You know, we're excited to have them back and um, just mostly looking forward to, you know, really a great game and, you know, for us to, to uh, really be our best, you know, come Sunday night. And last question, Tyron. Obviously, the locker room, you guys are super tight and you're one of the, the, the leaders of the team. Have you reached out to Willie Gay and offered any any type of encouragement or support for him? Uh, I have not spoke to Willie yet. No, I haven't. We'll go last to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Tyron, congratulations on winning the fan vote. Um, Thank you. I, I wanted to ask you this because I'm sure it's a rarity, but um, how instructional is it to really understand this offense when you watch a game where they played it in essence, a perfect football game on the offensive side? Yeah. You know, honestly, man, you just kind of chalk that game up. Uh, 
you don't spend too much time watching it. Uh, it seemed like everything they did uh, worked that way. And, you know, obviously everything the Patriots did kind of backfired. So uh, we've just been digging through the tape, um, you know, obviously, um, you know, trying to go through every game and, and see what those guys do well and what they don't do well. Um, this is a good offense. You know, they throw a lot at you. You know, we've been watching film sometimes. You can kind of get a headache just trying to pick up on tendencies and stuff like that. So, you know, those guys really got, you know, that going for them. Um, you know, I think it's going to come back to just fundamentals. You know, obviously how well we tackle, how well we communicate. And, you know, I think these kind of games is all about attitude and commitment and, you know, uh, how hard are you willing to go? You know, what are you willing to sacrifice to, to get the win? So, um, you know, I know uh, our guys will be all in, but, you know, just trying to pick up on these guys on film, um, they got a lot going on for sure. <laughs>